any three of the AOL lists have a chance? I don't think Elliot has a chance. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 11 of the Golems Gamers podcast. So today we are going to be doing another preview uh, event episode. It's going to be a little bit different to the other ones that we've done, but it is still a preview episode. So it's for the upcoming GBHL 90 event, Shadow and Flame, uh, held just outside of London, uh, and us three are all going to the event. So um, we are just going to run through all the lists here, actually, for the event on Longshanks. Uh, They have all been released uh, ahead of time, so we're just going to run through them and give our views on everyone's list. I don't know if I mentioned it's 500 points. It is also a veto event. So um, it's from, is it split into pods? How it? It's just random three from, from every pod. From all 18. So it's just, yeah. Uh, so it's a veto event, which plays quite a lot into obviously list building in most cases. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to run through everyone's lists and see what we think. So at the top, we do actually have Adam's list, first of all, in the number one spot. We're hoping to end the weekend as well. Uh, it is a one-day event, so it's four games, one day, 500 points. So, uh, Adam's list, would you like to tell us what you are taking, Adam? Yeah, it's just pure rot. I think, actually, this is one of my least way, least favourite ways to build Harad, which is with the Betrayer, because I don't think he's very point-sufficient. Uh, I much prefer to take him take a, a Suladan King Chieftain sort of list um, like I did at the 600. But uh, 500 points, the, the, it just doesn't quite work out. So at 450, you'd probably take Suladan and King. Um, at 550, you'd probably take another list, etc. But this is this is the one point I think you have to take Betrayer. So we've got Suladan on horse, obviously, as the leader. Nine bows, three spears, uh, five serpent guard. Basically, yeah, solid, and it's that times two. So we've got in total uh, two serpent riders and 35 models in total. So a little bit of everything, lots of shooting. Um, yeah, 17 boats. Mm. It, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's just a really balanced list with a lot of models, a lot of cheap models. Yeah, I think the things to pick out from it are you have your fight four everywhere which is nice um the other thing is the one watcher of karna for that courage i guess a bit more insurance being courage five against the terror um as well as the two serpent riders really good cav uh for 13 points mm. and i guess you're you're hopefully just gonna roll well when it comes to shooting with reroll all poisons for the betrayer um yep. and that's pretty much it. You have a six inch banner, so you're fine there. Um, you have magic if you need it. Um and even in combat, you get the real real world poison. So you if you're winning fights, you're potentially you're pretty killy. Um but again, like all Harad, you D4, which against some armies is a big problem. But you know, I think Vito will be good. You can try and choose the choose the scenarios that you have a bit more passive play style through shooting um yeah. and i don't think any other list is really going to outshoot you so no yeah, very heavily leans into the shooting meta at low points i so, think yeah. a sort of lothlorian could probably outshoot me in certain cases yeah um mainly because of the protection they have yeah so once you get close then at least their throwing weapons are working so yeah. i'm gonna have to think about how i'm gonna leverage that um just in game um, I I have a, a question on this. The betrayer, right, seems really good yeah. for the killing. But if I'm re-rolling to wound and I'm wounding on fours or five, like five, sorry, not fours, then all it's going to do is accelerate my killing. And if I'm against dwarves, or I think the only list I've actually already seen on this is the Fangorn one because it's just funny to see it. Uh, the betrayer is not going to do anything on that in terms of they're immune to the magic and 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 the uh, the re-rolling sixes by fives into sixes by fives isn't going to really do anything. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure about the betrayer to be honest. 
I think he's. I, I think I do think he's worth it. I mean, you have to take spam shooting to make it worth it. Um, yeah. but I think against majority of this, he does pretty well. Um, yeah, you but, have to look at, and I think that's what you've done. You've looked at the best way to run it at five hundred, and yeah. overall. The betrayer in most matchups, obviously, again, something like Fangorn, yeah, it's not going to be, but you can't go into it planning for every scenario, you know, every every possible because there is no way to build, you know, a list that tackles everything. Um, yeah, think- and it's it's low points, so you can't get as many warbands as you want. But yeah. I think if you're going to take betrayer, you have to take serpent guard. This is the way it works because fatties don't really work with it. Yeah, yeah, I, I expect it to do to do fairly well. Have you used this bit in an event before? I uh, used the list very similar to it at War and Reading once, yes. Okay. And then was, was that 550 last year? Was that 500? Yeah. It was 500. 500. So, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So um, it's a solid list, and I'm sure you do very well with it. Uh, moving on. Next up, we have Sam's list. We were just speaking about AOL. Sam. Yeah. So my, I've basically gone pure spam, to be honest with you. Um, so this version of AOL has Druzag as my leader, seven goblins with bow, three shield, two spear, one spider, two wild wargs, and then a shaman, seven more goblins with bow, a shield and spear goblin, and three goblins with spear, and then Musgur with 13 orcs with spear, uh, no shields, and then an uh, orc with shield, spear, banner, and one bat swarm. So... 44 models in total for 500 being a fair amount. It's quite a lot. Um, yeah. Like I said, I've gone much more on the model count um, instead of the beast route. I still have one spider, one bat, two wags, which they could all be enraged. So I still have those targets if I really need them. Um, but I'm kind of mainly prioritizing the shooting and as well as the outnumbering in combat with the fight three from the orcs um so again a big thing i don't have any prowlers um i could have dropped two models to get uh, you know a substantial change some of the shieldmen's the shield goblins and spear goblins into prowlers um like i said i've just gone for pure pure model spam um, thinking that in veto, if it's I can try and choose a favorable favorable scenario, shoot them, and then once they're into me, use the transfixes from Druzag, um, sorry, from Musgur and the Shaman to nullify heroes. I've got Fury, um, and I've still got the the trick with the spider and the bat, and I can even enraging a wild walk is still a viable option, um, if I need it, but. Yeah, just just model spam. Yeah, model spam. So if you uh, enrage a wild war, everything goes up by two, right? Yeah. So it goes to fight five, strength six. Yeah. Three attacks. Three attacks. Three attacks. Courage. Three attacks something. Courage. Uh, so the courage four base within Drew's Zag's twelve inch bubble. So they got courage six. That is nuts. That is really good. Yeah. No, so it's a seven point model that is then fight five, strength six. Where you tax. I think that's probably going to catch yeah. quite a lot of people off guard as well. They'll think the bat, oh, uh, the spider's the main enrage target. Yeah. But yeah. then, oh, they you could do the bat, it's the flyer, but the wargs, you could almost put them in a position where you could do some damage with them if you do enrage it, and mm-hmm. they just might like, totally not see. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to enrage something. And then yeah. I'm on that warg, and they're like, oh. The bat and a yeah. warg are still, you know, you're, if you strike to 10, you're still um, you same five value. So if they're in together, which means it becomes a roll off if you roll both roll sixes. Um, so it's just it just for the potential with seven points, trapping a model six, six attacks at strength six. No. It's usually fairly good. It can probably, you probably do a wound for their leader. Yeah. It isn't even only, even something. It doesn't even have to be like a VP gaining play. Like, say, for example, you're playing against like Zangdouche or someone like a fight four or even a fight five, like hero that's like in a vulnerable position. Like if you can flash kill them, then mm-hmm. it's it's just uh, 
a fairly expensive model that they've invested points into just gone. And yep. you know, uh, that's obviously a really big advantage and something that you want to do. A good objective stuff as well. Good for if I play a recon, if I play a retrieval, if I play a um a capture and control, you can have one on the back and then instantly get it in within charging distance next turn after it moves ten. Um oh yeah I like I really like taking the wags. I mean they're seven points each. Like I always take a lot of fell wags when playing the Anton Santa stuff. I mean not loads, but like some people take like at seven hundred points or something, they're taking like two. I'm like, why not just take four? And you've got a lot more flexibility. You've still got a shit ton of hunter orcs, you know. And yeah. like here, for example, it's like you've got loads of goblins and you've got loads of orcs. Just drop a couple and get some wags. Now you've got ten inch moving models, you know. Yeah, I think it's just gonna usually five hundred points. Azog hunters fairly good. Um, the bows from this list kind of shred Azog hunters. I mean, they're still goblin bows, so they don't really hit very often. But when they do, winning on falls. Um, as well as even when they get into you, it's still fight three versus fight three. So I'm not outnumber them. And they still have to protect the heroes from the bat and the spider. So And the heroes have one will. Yeah. And the and the that's the thing, the transfix is is really important. Um you know, the heroes, although they're like cheap heroes and it's like, oh, they don't they, you know, they don't need to, you know, kill the entire army. It's like, well, you kind of need them. You need yeah. people to be killing something. And yeah. if he's just transfixed, then you probably lose. You say transfixes, and I had to look at the screen there because I was sort of thinking, only Muska. You've taken a Goblin Shaman. I, I really like that, actually. And Sam loves rolling fives on his Goblin Shaman with the re-roll. Oh, well, yeah, re-roll and also Fury, just in case you need it. I, I think it's great. Fury, and then, yeah, ro even rolling a four and just, oh, I'll spend my weight on that. Why not? Yeah, shut down a hero for a turn. Yeah, it's, if you're not going to use Fury... Your transfix is going to be the main thing, and if you even if you, it's a really big play. You roll two dice to transfix on a five, re-rolling both. You know it's fairly like to go off. So, um, it's just another tool which can be used, and I think using Muzga effectively is a big thing. Um, making sure you get enough will back in, within the game is quite uh important, depending on the the army you play. Um, not too ash though. Not too ash. No, he does not he does not know the no. Muzga play. Doesn't know the potential. No. But um no uh, uh there is an argument for dropping two two models and three models and adding a spider to go to forty two models with that all loads of prowlers as as, or, as yeah and prowlers but yeah, that's right. it's literally the most bare bones you can actually take with yeah. very well maximizing I think it's a great list I think I think in ninety minutes the rounds are only an hour and a half I think I think this list is really strong because I don't think it'll break much yeah i don't i i hope not at least indeed uh so that's going to cover sam's aol moving on to stephen denby shout out oh wait no it's not going to do that the denbinator um although they are on the screen so maybe nah, big up any heroics i'll blur that out i'll blur it out no, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh so denby is running uh not gilgalad which is quite a shocker he is running a oh, witch yeah. king Horse and Crown, obviously, a Wild Rider with a shield, six Moranans with shield spear, a Moranan with banner shield spear, and eight Black Nums. And then Warband 2 is Gorbag. Shield, six Black Nums with shield spear, six Black Nums. Uh, sorry, did I say six Black Nums with shield spear? Six Moranans with shield spear. Yeah, maybe. God knows. <laughs> uh, so how many models is that all in? 28? Or 30? Six, 12? He's two under max. So uh, uh, totally 30. trying to math it. <laughs> yeah, thirty. Is it thirty on the nose? It's thirty on the nose because he he could have two more in a Witch King's Warband, but because he's taken Moranans, he can't. I probably would have dropped a few Moranans and taken the uh, normal orcs just to get that up to thirty-two because then you're hitting your Mordor army bonus more likely. Mm. Um, of course, everyone goes on about Moranans because they have higher strength. But they're second rank, so they probably don't need that high defense as much as they would need the army bonus, I think. You'd say to drop like some, only a few to max. So Moranin with shield, yeah. Moranin with shield and spear is two points more than an orc with shield and spear. Yeah. So I'd actually probably just drop three of them um, and take. So if you drop three of those, that's 27 points. Sorry, drop two of them, 18 points. I'd just take three orcs with shield, uh, just with spear. Um, and then what that means is 
Um, you so could... You've only gained one extra model, so you go up to 30. Yeah, so do that twice. Yes, yeah, so you drop six Moranans, so you've got no, six... No, four, four. Drop four Moranans and you gain four, six. Sorry. Yeah, four, right, right, right. Yeah. So you still have eight strength four hits in the line. It's quite a lot. I guess it achieves the hitting power that you want against, you know, D6. No, you'd only drop four. So he has seven, he has 13. 12. But he's got 12, like, in the line, not including the banner. So he drops four yeah. and he goes down to eight, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that should achieve the hitting power he's looking yeah. for, and he gets max models at thirty-two. Yeah, so I do like it's, that. It's like he's listened to our Mordor episode because <laughs> he's just taken the top two heroes. He, basically, he has totally listened to every minute of that episode. <laughs> Stephen Denby, we do love you, good man. We love it. He totally has. I, this, um, uh, I feel like I quite like this list. Um, I do. I wonder, I feel like it may be a, a little bit of an excessive amount of will on the Witch King. Just that thought, uh, literally came into my mind, yeah. 15 will at 500 seems maybe yeah. one or two mu more than he needs. He could even keep some more of that strength for, even if he drops one, then yeah. he only has to sacrifice like one or two Moranans the most. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be intrigued to see if 15 is the play or not. I feel like you could get away with 14, even 13, to be honest with you. And and like the spear on the banner as well. It's like if you're getting close to, you know, if you're one point away from getting it to fit how you want, it's like, well, is there one point you can scrap from something that you might not yeah. need? And like the banner doesn't have to have the spear. It's not like... Yeah, but it's still 14 black nuns that have harbinger. Oh, it's it still is. a very good list. And it has okay. no launch, which, I mean, you're D6 everywhere, so it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just um, it is hard at low points. Like, you're always going to be making yeah. decisions over X thing. Uh, and and with Vito, it's the same with my Rohan Loth list yeah. at Tom's 90 that we did a preview episode on, um, where, yeah, I don't have March, but I'm hoping I can negate the need for that with Vito. So. Yeah, it's, it's two strikers, gore bags, great value for points, which King's always good. Yeah. Um, the War Rider, I like. Um, yeah, I think it's literally maybe, I guess, try to fill out your war bands to get to 32 models, and potentially there might be one or two more Will on the Witch King than I would have liked. I yeah. think 14, 14 would be an ample, and you can yeah. get away with 13 there, okay. But I think War I can totally kill stuff as well. Like if the Witch King oh, yeah. you know, compels a hero somewhere, uh, and then Gore Bag strikes like Ratabi, things like that can easily die. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And stuff, yeah. So it's a really solid list. Looking forward to see how he does with it. But that is Denby's list. Next up, we do have Gamey Jamie. The Wiganator. Wiganator himself coming in with an AOL list. Uh, a little bit different to Sam. So he has gone the Prowler route. So he has how so many? Prowler, prowlers? Devil Spider. That's the thing. Yeah, eight Prowlers. Two, two spiders. spiders. and a less, less Orcs. And he's got a wild rider as yeah. well. Um, so he's got no he's got no wild wargs. No. No wild wargs. So he's got <laughs> Take a, a rider for that. wild wargs. Yeah. I'd always do that. Um but he's he's played this list a lot, right? Oh yeah. So he I I presume he knows what he's doing with it. I also yeah, so. don't like having the models on an uneven number. It's something I've been trying to do. Either either take away, either go down from 39 to 38. And your break point isn't changing. And now you can invest those points into making X thing better. Or you improve your break point by sacrificing something you've put a little bit extra points into and you go up to 40 models. I like the wild rider and the two giant spiders. That's that's some good speed. Yeah. I'm thinking how to do that. I guess you could there's potential to some prowlers, like uh, but I guess uh, he's gone prowler bam sort of but i swear when we played at 550 sam you had more than eight prowlers no, i had eight i had eight on the dot oh you had eight. Oh, okay so he's gone as like spammy as you're really gonna go so if he starts dropping those then he's not really achieving the same thing so i guess you can't really do it from the prowlers there um, you could the war grinder is how many points do you need to get to put in another model how much is the cheapest model you can get five points, points or something or five five yeah five uh, so six please. To throwing spear on the wild rider. No, so you need you need six points because he's filled out he's filled out the goblins anyway. So you right. could basically 
take you could get rid of the war rider because that's 12 points um turn it into a wild wag and a and another model yeah you'd have to i would i would rather do that yeah but that's it's still it's still fairly good it's a similar route to mine it's it's classic aol he's just gone more prowler more spider um less models three no four less but he had had he has two less bows than me at 12 um it's yeah it's pretty similar it's just yeah. That's, yeah, I don't know. Same thing, essentially. Low points AOL. Well, just... of... Sorry. Okay. No, no, go on. He's got lots of throwing weapons, though, which I think make up for the bows. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think the Prowlers are really good. And um, it's the, the, the plus one to win for the strength throwing weapons is nice. It's when you get into combat. So, like, he has. How many spearmen does he have? Six orc spearmen, but then he's six got... orc spearmen, and then t- four goblins. Oh, uh, four goblins, five, yeah. And but he has 12, 12 in that wall band that need spears, and then six in uh, eight in that wall band. So he's got twenty models without spears to go everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Or what? eleven models, eleven models that do. Obviously, with AOL, you're not exactly playing in a, a rank and file line. Usually, you're you, you usually have your line, and then you're coming around to, to trap. So, I guess it's more that line that you're that people are engaging on have spears, but the ones that you're pushing around don't, which is fair enough. Um, but what I'd like to see, uh, obviously, the orcs. Some more, yeah, maybe. Orcs are the worst part about it because they get the plus one to win against them for shooting, but they're your at low points, them being your fight three is quite nice. And that means you don't get the neg one for the prowlers. Um it's also in the back line as well, so it doesn't just yeah. instantly die. And the prowlers are great, but yeah, if you if you roll a five, if you roll a four and a five and that five is on the prowler and they roll a five, it just it feels so so bad and they, yeah. they're most likely gonna die. Um yeah. You need to get he needs to make his points back with the prowlers through throwing daggers. Yeah, um, to be effective. Yep. Yeah, yeah, uh, but no, it's it's a solid list from Jamie as usual. Moving on, we have my list. I'm hoping another solid one. We'll see. So, uh, it is defenders of Helm's Deep. So, uh, the leader is obviously Thaden with armor and shield, eight warriors of Rohan with throwing spear shield, three of royal guard with throwing spear, four Galadriel warriors with bow spear, and one with only a spear. And then we have Gambling with the Banner with Halith, and then six Warriors of Rohan with Throwing Spear Shield, and five Galadrian Warriors with Bow Spear. So I believe it's my list. It's 30 models all in. Yeah, because yeah, I get 31 at 550, uh, as our upcoming episode will preview. Um, but yeah, to basically get it up to 30 models, I have very l- few Raw Guard. So I've only got three with Throwing Spear. And then it's just all boys of Rohan. So fight three, can go to fight four with Howard's in combat, but they're all D5, but it's as many models as I can. So it's 30 at 500 um, while also maximizing. I think that is the max elves that I can get and max bows as mm-hmm. well. So I've just tried to maximize everything I can really, but the sacrifice has been that there's only three raw guard. Yeah, defenders definitely works better at this five hundred points level. Um, it's the I feel like you're going to get a lot more return out of the throwing spears at this points level compared to, you know, for example, five fifty. Um, you the uh, the D five on the front line again is not exactly the best. You may die if you lose fights, but you have got gambling, um, and you'll fight five. So as long as you can whittle down from shooting to a certain a certain point. Yeah. Um, Just hope I get some good matchups. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully your battle line should be okay, and Vito will help you as well. So, uh, and Halif is a good gambling person to, mm. to give my back to. So, yeah. looks solid, mate. Yeah. I think it's really good because gambling's banner uh, at this low points. Most people are only bringing what six might. I mean, just it, it means the last couple of turns, you're probably going to be the only one able to move. Yeah. And that's so, um, really key. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. We're both so, throwing spears. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, I get some good matchups and, you know, I get a good return from those things and the veto. I can exploit that, hopefully. But 
all comes down to you know how it's rolled out by the to and the matchups the boards all these things come into it really so next up we have elliot Clode. shout out again looks like meat's back on the menu boys <laughs> uh so he is running let's the scouts uh so it's lurts load of scouts malher drummer load of scouts and ugluck with load of scouts he's got six uh 12 bows plus alerts so 13 bows yeah so it's uh nine plus so 16 plus 9 25 26 27 it's not loads of models is it because he's gone all three here right? because he's gone drama oh, he's gone banner oh, and, drama. and banner oh, it's again. so it's yeah because it's nine plus eight being 17 plus another eight being 25 plus the three heroes so 28 models it feels rather low for lots of scouts and um, it's the the front line's d5 but the yeah. Bow is all d4 yeah so it's yeah i think i would have liked to have seen the banner get dropped yeah he doesn't need the banner um i think i'd like to see the banner get dropped and take the keys however, however many more however you many always, more models you, get. you could always just auto veto the banner scenario if yeah, yeah that's yeah. true so it's also, a skirmishing yeah. army, though, isn't it? This one. Yeah, the 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 strength of the list is through the through your, your movement. So I think the drum the drums more important, the banner less so, um, and just having three heroes that you can go into combat with that are fight five. Where's Malho fight four? I think he's fight five, isn't he? No, uh, they're all fight five. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't mean to completely like shit on his list. But <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I remember that quote. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. And wasn't that Ugluk once Lurtz was dead? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, uh, mate, um, you're, you're the law guy. I don't know. He, he chops he chops like Grishnak or Snaga's head off. Oh yeah, that is uh, oh yeah, that is after Lurtz is dead, yeah. Definitely. Oh. Great yeah. quote, anyway. Well done, Elliot. The points deduction, I think, from him there. Any heroic, <laughs> yeah. Just feels this list just feels rather low point, uh, rather low model count for Lurch and Scouts. I think um, it'll be interesting to see how he does with it. Maybe yeah. they could do with it being five fifty points. Five fifty, yeah. You just take fifty points more, dudes. You get what? Get five more models, maybe six. Yeah, yeah. But it's a good list, though. It's fast. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how he gets on. So moving on, we have Rob Mackey with another AOL. So how is this one different? He's got 38 models. So he took my advice to... He's got two log uh, riders instead of one. Move a model and pay more points for something. Yeah. He's got he's got sh- thrown, shield on the throne spear, wild riders. He's got four orcs instead of six. Uh, he's still got two spiders. And he's still got the eight, eight colors. Yeah, yeah. Just that he again doesn't have the amount of spears needed for uh yeah. the amount of models, but again, it's not the end of the world for AOL. You can just wrap around. Um yeah, it's similar That's to good. it's similar to Jamie's. So Yeah, AOL five hundred is pretty good. 30 models, so it's what six less than mine. But again, he's got an extra spider and eight prowlers. So, yeah. will, they, will they make the return back potentially? So, yeah, interesting. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, so, that's the next AOL. Moving on, we have Richard Spencer with, by the looks of it, Azog Hunters. So, he has 35 models at 500. He has Narzug. Load of hunter orcs who is not on a wag. That's probably I'm assuming because he doesn't have a converted model. Uh, that's most likely why. So it's Narzag on foot, load of hunter orcs with a horn as well. Then a hunter or captain on foot, um, load of hunter orcs, and then Fimble on a wag with hunter orcs on wags. Um, a cup, uh, one, two, three with two round pick. Uh, and is he Max Bows? Uh, I don't think he is. Um, maybe he is. He's got four in. There's, there's eight. Four, eight plus. 15. 15. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, and one on the horn. So yeah, yeah, he's pretty maxed out on bows. Um, so it's it's definitely a different way to run it. Probably isn't how I'd have built it at five hundred. Um, but I'd have I'd have probably. I mean, if he wants the march, then you take the captain. It's very cheap at forty five points with veto. I would probably try to live without the march and go for the three named heroes. And I would definitely have Nazik on a wag. And I would definitely not personally have the Hunter Orcs on Fell Wargs. Uh, that's probably partially why he's only at 35 models. I've mm-hmm. definitely got that up uh, just by separating the two. I think you just want really high model count with a high break point for a D4 army. Yeah, look, it looks fairly strong to me still. Um, there's definitely, yeah, I think your the, your points you said may have been probably are better. Um, like you said, high... high oh, yeah, highest, yeah, highest break point possible. Um, yeah, but yeah, it looks it just looks classic as of hunters. Loads of strength for attacks. That's about it. Strong. Quite I like good. the horn. Horn's good. Horn. It's what eight might. It's high might account. Yeah, eight. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's just, good. Yeah, having the three name ones, I think, with the two strikers who can kill stuff against you know certain lists. Uh, five hundred. Um, nine might. Um. Yeah, Nazig and Awag would be lovely, but he's got Nazig as the leader, so he's, he's yeah. thought into the list uh, with a horn, etc. So I'm sure he'll do well with it. It is it is a good list. Yeah. yeah. So moving on next, we have John Parrish um, with a Mordor list. He has gone for the Witch King, 3-14-3, 12 Black Lambs, 4 Morgul Knights, and a Catapult. catapult. Severed Heads. <laughs> Severed Heads. That's this, a fun list. This is a nervous list. Yeah, fair play to fair play to John. Yeah, I um, think it's actually pretty good if he gets the right scenarios. This is literally veto using harbinger at its absolute finest. Yeah. Everything causes terror and severed heads as well. Yeah, it's silly. You know, what you're doing. that's a proper that's a proper funny nervous list. Nice. Like that. You do love to see it. Um, no spears, just pure pure funny. Yeah, it's really good. I I like the fact that he's got the Numenorians, which you can basically park around the about twelve inches away from the <laughs> catapult. Yeah, and he's got a troll that he can always move up. Obviously, he can't leave the catapult completely. I think he has to stay within six inches, but he can just carry it yeah. know, into it's, combat. Is seven heads the seven heads? Is that if it hits anything around it that's affected, takes a courage test. If it fails, it runs. Yeah. So every model, no model, and not prone but every model within two inches of the target takes a strength three hit and needs to take a courage test yeah so yeah it's literally playing along long harbinger isn't it which is quite uh i like it i like the idea yeah it's great. Vito. Vito yeah, if loads, yeah if loads of things run in a turn or something that would be that'd hilarious. be funny that'd be yeah. hilarious quite funny i have to ask john how it goes at the event moving on we have patrick divers um and he is taking the bjornings at 500 so we have with three Bjornings and Grimbjorn with two Bjornings. So he has seven models, but two 200 point bears. Seven models, two bows. I mean, I think this is, uh, I guess you could run one bear, 15 Bjornings, probably not as good because it's just not one bear is way, way less scary than two. Um, it looks classic, classic Bjornings to me. Um, it's a dark horse to win the event. I'd say 100. percent Yeah, it's, it's a good player with two bears. How are you gonna deal with two bears at 500? I know I can't. So if he, <laughs> yeah, I think if he gets good matchups, and you know, it's gonna to be tough to take him down. This is why I said taking. I wish I had two spiders now instead of the one. Patrick is licking his chops over there in London. Um, yeah, I think so... it's, it's just gonna be there's the veto. It obviously help him, but with seven models, say there's two bad scenarios, you still yeah, might not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it does help him because as soon as I can see contest, that's gone. Yeah, Lords is gone, contest is gone. Is it three random or three from a is it the pool? Three, three, three random. Yeah. So that's worse yeah. for this list, I think. Yeah, it is worse. Definitely. Um it, it'll be interesting, I think. Depend like he could get you could get a assassination lords and contest all in one, which then sure 
And then it feels like, okay, it's, I'm having a nightmare against it. But then those three are gone for the rest of the tournament. And then you're playing... Yeah, it goes the other way. Then you're playing Come On the Battlefield, Domination, and... I don't know, another one. Yeah. Like another shit one. Recon. Recon, yeah. And it's like, oh. Yeah. So, interesting. Yeah. I, I think a little bit of... A little bit of luck. Luck. Um, and he could definitely do it. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of luck required. But, yeah, strong list. Yeah. Uh, so that list next up we have Felix Newman with what looks like Pits of Dog with 16 Hunter Orcs, Hunter or Captain with Wag and a bow, five points. Love to see it with 11 Hunter Orcs. So he has 10 bows, yeah. and Captain 11 to 20, so it's 29 models. Yeah, 500. I mean, it's a pretty high model count. He's decided I'm not going to take a uh. A banner or a horn. I'm just going to max out models and hope they kill stuff and don't die. And Azog kills stuff. It's the right decision. It's pretty good. I mean, it's a lot of models. A few, a few of the D6 guys would have been nice, I think. Um, yeah, he's literally just spanned it out. As yeah, well. he's just pure hunter or savagery. Dip, dial. Literally, he's going to melt in combat or shooting, or he's going to melt. Everybody. I love how he's gone as spammy as he can, but he still found five points to give that hunter a <laughs> that plucky <laughs> shot, mate. You never know. You never know with Mike behind he's got, it. <laughs> he's got twenty-seven. Is it twenty-seven hunter orcs? There's a lot. Yeah. I think he's just gone for yes. Some will die from shooting. Yeah, but I don't care. I'm just yeah. gonna send it. Twenty hunter orcs, forty strength four hits. Twenty-seven, 27. hunter orcs. Uh yeah, twenty-seven. It's a lot. Savage. Yeah. Again, yeah, that's really cool. It has like six guys would have been nice, I think. But yeah, I hope to play it and I can kill a fuckload of them before combat, hopefully. But then Azog just wrecks everything. So, amen. Yeah. Uh, so that is Felix's list. Moving on next, we have Stuart McLean, who is taking Army of Thor, as it says there. Army of Thor with Thor, 16 Guardians of the King, a Captain of Erebor with Shield, and 12 Warriors of Erebor with Spear Shield. So, so this is this is my dark horse to win the event. It's very good. It's very, very good. Oh, my, my dark horse to win the event. Guardians of the King are incredibly solid with spears behind. Fight four everywhere. D7 everywhere. Five good, might. It's got good March. leader. Good leader. March. Banner. Veto. D7. 30 models. 30 models that fight four D7. Throwing weapons. I yeah. mean... It's no good. What's gonna so veto just makes it a lot better. It can, you know, get rid of the scenarios where the movement is a problem. Yeah, I think what what can just what can go through this army? I guess Azog. Nothing is really gonna Azog and kill this. Azog and bears. Azog and yeah. bears. But apart from that, your even your hunter orcs are still winning on sixes. Doesn't feel great. Um, yeah. Fangorn, I guess, but that's a that's a bit of a stretch. You're probably gonna have more of a lovely time in scenario wise for them, but yeah, it's just just a lot of dwarfs at 500 points that are gonna be hard to kill. The line that is not really gonna crumble. Yeah, hour and a half game. So I guess if someone plays the objective right from the start and the dwarfs don't have enough time to play the objective and just kill stuff and I don't know I guess uh, it's just a good list I think I don't know yeah he's got the throwing axes as well it's all yeah. solid it's an incredibly solid list it's 30 yeah. models at like defense 7 yeah everything is d7 are the warriors available or are they d6 d7 seven. and they're d6 base yeah d7 and shield so yeah it's 30 d7 or better models have fun yeah it's gross. Uh, We'll see how it gets on. It's very, very strong. Yeah, I, I agree. I actually think this is the best list I've seen so far. So far, yeah, I don't know what really beats it that much. It's just, just going to be scenario. Like if you get if it gets some bad scenarios against armies that are going to outmaneuver it, that's what yep. that's what will do it. But um, yeah, uh, I don't know. We will see. We will see. Um, so next up we have Liam or Liam, Liam, uh, Liam, yeah. Liam Macbeth. Who is taking a similar list to yours, Adam? Uh, with yeah. Betrayer. Yeah. Who's got 
four watches of Kana, four watches, and six merchant guard, which he's there for riders. So he's got one extra rider, so less models in total, I'm guessing. So eighteen in Sullivan's War Band, and then thirteen in the Betrayers. So yeah, thirty-three models in total. Mm. The two less models, but three more Watch Sakana, one more Seven Rider, and then six Merchant Guard. So he's got he's got fight four in the front instead of fight four behind, essentially. Um, yep, I think Serpent Guard are not as good as the Fatties, but when you take the Betrayer, I think you should take the Serpent Guard because they've got poison weapons. Yeah, it's like you said, yeah, do the sense. Merchant Guard with the Betrayer work just as well with uh, just as good as Serpent Guard? Mm, yeah. Probably not, but we'll see. Still, yeah. still 40, 33 models, it's okay, pretty good. good. There seems to be a theme here. High model count, shooting. Yeah, three Heraldic in total, so... Yeah. Uh, it looks like some list from uh, Liam. Next up we have Simon with another Serpent Hall list. Uh, but yeah. I like this. Is this so the third uh, one? Raza yeah. and a Haradrim King. So 33 models. The model count keeps on going down. I oh, know, the last one was 33 as well. Oh, uh, yeah, I, actually, I actually prefer this to mine. <laughs> Got a mounted war band, mounted war band with the king and two mm. riders. Um, how many bows is this? Six, eleven, uh, eleven. Yeah, so he's not maxed out bows. Um, has he? No, but he's got way more might. So he's got, he's basically got three more might than me. He doesn't have as much fight for back rank. He's only got one serpent guard and three fatties. But what he's got is he's got two, he's got three pretty good heroes. I think Raz is quite maligned unfairly because he's got Bane of Kings and yeah, he's a spear support as well. So you, you unleash him late game and he, he's pretty killy. It's that fight four that kills him, isn't it? It's... Yeah, but three attacks. Three attacks at fight four. You do get the fight six stuff if you go into your target. It's, mm. it's, it's a cool, it's a cool ability that's you know yeah. different. against the right army though like against Azul Santas he's fucking having a great time yeah yeah definitely I, I like the list I like it a lot yeah looks fun it's really fun it's really good I like yeah. it third seven horde list moving on we have Tom Bates with Return of the King uh, it's a very classic here we have Aragorn with Warriors of the Dead with Shield Shield Spear and a Rider then we have the King of the Dead with again more Warriors with Shield Shield Spear and another Rider of the Dead. So they're identical warbands with Aragorn and the King. How many models is that? Uh, 16? Seven in each. Okay. Yeah, 16. Pretty, it's pretty bog standard when it comes to Return of the King, isn't it? I think. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I think some people just take, war- don't take Riders, they just take Warriors, like Foot, because you have the March from Aragorn. Um but a 500 i mean maybe he didn't need to go two riders but a 500 i guess you're just hoping you're really just gonna hope the warriors don't die you're not really trying to kill with them king of the dead and aragorn a 500 it's probably not going to be much other than like aol like the serpent hall lists are just going to die to aragorn and the king like they're going to kill a lot so i guess you're just really hoping they kind of clean up against low defense armies yeah you're probably going to be you're probably gonna be throwing like your Saladin and stuff into. The oh yeah, I just I just here. guess like the the key to this winning is hoping at Aragorn and King of the Dead just go pretty nuts against. It's gonna like... be yeah. Try not to die. Use Terror. Use the Harbinger, and then try choose decent scenarios for the list you're playing against. And that's again, again, it's what's gonna kill the or do what do this list in is gonna be scenario choice. Um, it's only 16 models, it's pretty tough. Um, but they're all D8, and yeah. so yeah, yeah, it's got some cab in there as well. So, um, yeah, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a solid list of 500. Moving on, we do have a pure Rivendell list by the looks of things. So, we have Gilgalad 
four shield, and then six king's guard. One of them has a banner. He's taking the five six banner with a spear, I guess. Uh, some regular high elves with shield and with elf bow, and then we have a restore with shield, shield spear, and elf bow guys, and then a riv knight. So one riv knight. Um, so it's nineteen models, um, all in with Gilgalad. Yeah. With the keys. You're on mute, Adam. Totally was on mute. Um, why is he? I'm I'm surprised he's gone for the six kings card. What are you doing that minute? Yeah, maybe just points. Oh no, it can't be. It's five points down. I would drop those five and just just take an extra elf to get to twenty models. So you don't run any kings card. No, I mean you don't need five six at five hundred points. If you're taking Gilgalad, you definitely take some, like two at least. But, but why? To kill Bjornings, mate. Yeah, you definitely. I've already got Elven Blades. If like. if 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 you're already paying the points for Gilgalad, then I think if you're not getting a couple Kingsguard in. But the thing is, so he's he's five points down. If he yeah, drops... we can get it up to 20 models, yeah. But is there something else he could do? I mean, he's already got one Riv Knight. So he's... 20, 20 is a lot better than 19. First of all, because it's a break point. And secondly, yeah. because 20 models is still too low for 500 points. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got a very elite army. Aristor's great. Gilgalad's amazing. But 500 points is... Oh, oh yeah. He doesn't need six Kingsguard. Uh, I just, yeah. It's whether he can get it up to 20 um, while still keeping a couple of them, I think would probably be the best alteration for the list but um i mean he hopes gilgalad kills everything yep it's, it's another pick pick well in scenario try not to play against a list that completely counters you yeah and oh well yeah nice uh so moving on i we... think aol would do really good against that list yeah it totally would yeah 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 we have mark callingham with rise of Hayden. so it's Thayden with four Royal Guard with Throwing Spear, Aemir with three Royal Guard with Throwing Spear, and Gambling with the Banner with three Royal, Royal Guard without Throwing Spear. It's, it's, uh, te- 13 models. What a lad. All Royal Guard. Pretty chad. Heroes. What a lad. I might. <laughs> Thayden and Aemir. I love the Aemir pick. Just, just go for it. Yeah. This Try is literally... I hope it's going to be very skirmishy. Try to take off a few, few throwing spears. Yeah. And your death has to go a little bit crazy. Um, But it, yeah. it can totally do that, to be fair. Yeah, it's totally good. Uh, so... D6 everywhere. Fight. Are they fight five within the thing you stay in? Or they stay... Fight yeah. five, five if they charge, yeah, within yeah, 12. So... Yeah, so it's pretty good. It's oh, good. is it? Uh, is it within 12, you're saying? I think it's within 12. Is it, it's either 12 or 6. It might be 6. Six yeah. I don't know. It's, yeah, 5-5. Five, five. So, yeah. It's uh, pretty savage. Low model count. So, again, but it's all it's all mounted. So, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good list. Rise of Theoden. Classic. We love to see it. Moving on, we have Lewis with his Fangorn list. Treebeard, Marion Pippin, Beachbone, Quick Beam. What are we saying? Is that Louis or Lewis? Well, I think you can pronounce... Uh, uh, didn't I say Lewis? You said Lewis. Oh, we don't know where he's from, right? So it depends. You can say it as like Louis, but I did say Lewis. I mean, that's so Louis right there. We'll, we'll have to see at the event. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, bang on, 500 points. It should be bang on 500, isn't it? With all three. Um, Mary Pippin. Again, yeah. it's, it's, it's similar to Bears in the sense of... Dependent. Yeah, yeah, low low model count, things that aren't going to die very very easily, but um, you uh, again the veto will help this out a lot. Um, some of these lists, the magic from these lists that we've spoke about won't do anything against this, which is quite nice because obviously they can't be transfixed or compelled or anything, um, which is pretty strong. So. This is literally going to be again. Can you can you do fairly well with veto and the army you're playing against at the same time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Yeah. So, so when we say, like, I feel like on almost half the list, someone has said Vito is really good for this. I think Vito is really good for the armies which are swingy, which are skewed, like this one. Yeah. So does that literally mean that for the others it's bad? No, it, it's good for all of them. So Vito's good, good for. It can't be good for every army because. Vito's good for any army you take, but it's just better for certain ones. Yeah, that... it can be maximized more for some. So, it just, so the, the armies that skew either higher model count or the armies that skew lower model count are going to take things away from, are going to enjoy Vito more. But it's not to say that the other lists don't. And especially, like, although those, say, low model count lists like this enjoys veto because it can veto bad stuff away it also gives your opponent a choice of vetoing bad stuff away that that you want so it's not like you, you're mo majority of the time you're 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 taking this list hoping that you can play lords contest and these scenarios that are good for you but the equally, people are going to veto those straight away e yeah equally they're getting they're gone just as just as quick as you're vetoing some of the other ones so yeah. you're going to play one that you're going to play scenarios that are relatively still not in your favor but they're like not insta they're not the end of the world that like you could with correct play and proper play against certain armies you could totally still win yeah. um, but it's it's still not going to be easy i think high model count is better mm. than these low model count ones yeah 100% it's interesting. I'd love to see some data on veto events. Tournaments. Yeah. yeah. They're starting to become yeah. more popular. So give it a year. We'll have maybe. a good sample size. Yeah. Yeah. We will have to make a pod on it. I'm sure we will. We have <laughs> topics here on the Golems Gamers pod. Uh, moving on, though, we do have the complete uh, opposite. I totally didn't shout out his name. We have James Lake here with Goblin Town. <laughs> Sixty models, a complete goblin king, a scribe, grinner, and a captain, and loads of goblins. So we say sixty models, but there's going to be more than that. So this is one that I think benefits from veto more, especially um, especially when it's random veto. So three scenarios from all eighteen. Yeah, because it means that so Goblin Town usually have. The, the the killy scenarios as their bad ones, which means um with all of them potentially being potentially not playing any of them, um, or vetoing them away straight away, the rest are fairly good for this army. So where if you draw pod four for the whether, yeah, whether you draw pod four really for it's it's kind of bad regardless if you're taking Golden Town, you can still like you can't avoid drawing pod four if you're playing a scenario where veto is from the pools. Yeah. You can avoid yeah. those scenarios from in this event. So I think this benefits more because all the scenarios are fairly good. <laughs> yeah. Um, 60 models is obviously very high. Um the there's no mercs, which I don't know if you can fit them in at this point it's level, to be honest. I don't know if it's viable. Um Probably just gone insane fucking goblins. You could you could drop the goblin scribe and two goblin warriors. It's like a direct swap to take um two mercs. Yeah, two mercs. Yeah, is the scribe or the captain gonna get you more benefit? So at low points, I actually don't mind the scribe because what it does is it each model it provides for you as the army as a whole, if it adds 15, 20 models, that as a percentage of number of models is higher than it would be at high points. Yeah, I think for again, I think the scribe is better in this veto format as well. Um, yeah, but like you can abuse the scribe in scenarios a little bit more than you can. Yeah, you get rid of Maelstrom, for example. Yeah, and um, and you even having ones that like retrieval where goblins come on by their by their objectives. Yeah, like, that's just quite quite strong. So I like it. This again could totally be a contender to do very well. Yeah, I, th I think this is really, really strong. It's good. No point going um, down. We all know this. In a 90 doing... minute round as well. Yeah. Some lists will do well against this if there's enough turns. Like I think I think Harad would do well against this through shooting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um 
I think my list would the AOLs would do fairly well against I can, it. I could totally have a crazy turn of throwing spins against. Yeah, them. you uh, Elliot's list with shooting. It just again it depends on the scenario. You have to play one way. You you can be in your block and try and play a lane and not have be surrounded. Um, yeah. it's just going to be high model count that has shooting that is still higher fight than the goblins. Yeah, so, that's yeah, it. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah, how it goes. So that is the Goblin Town list. Next up, we have Daniel Chapman with another bear list. It's exactly the same as Patrick's. Okay. Uh, two votes. So, so he's just he's just instead of having is it not exactly bow the same? in each? Oh, oh, bow in each. Yeah, yeah. He's had he's got two bows just in Grim Bounds. Which... An oversight. <laughs> so yeah, it's the same list. Yeah, it's the same list, but just <laughs> warbound, warbound, warbound swap, I guess. But um, we yeah, all know this is good. So that was the next bear list. Now we have Nemo eighty five coming in hot with a Helm's Guard list. Ooh. Helm on horse, warriors of Rohan with throwing spear shield. Um, a regular warrior of Rohan, royal guard with, with uh, so four royal guard on horse with throwing spear, six royal guard on foot with throwing spear. And then just a generic Captain of Rohan. Are they 45 points? Bargain basement. I think they are. Uh, and then three riders, just regular riders of Rohan, Bowing Spear, and one with a banner. Interesting. Definitely different. How many models is that? What? Uh, 16. 22. Yeah. See, so I, we have, though. I, like, I like Helm's Guard. At low points, I think it is actually really good, but I don't think this is how you build it. Um, I think you very much need to go just spam warriors of Rohan with throwing spear and shield, maybe like one cav. Um, and I, I'd, I'd even say sack off royal guard. Yeah, you maybe don't need that many. It's taken a lot. Because if you take, if you just take all warriors, we'll fight for with shield and throwing spear, you then still have the range threat through throwing spears, and you're a bit more skirmishy. You have march and the captain, and then you also have your free moves and free combat from helm. So, uh, I think maybe reaching. I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know what model count you'd reach if you took. All just foot Rohan. I guess it probably wouldn't be that high still. And I guess he's like, do I just hope that the elites are better? But to be fair, the Royal Guard are really expensive. So how much is a, how much is a Royal Guard horse? I think they're like six, with throwing spear. I think like sixty, and there might be eighteen. And how much is a normal Rohan warrior with shield and throwing spear? I'll totally get it on now. But yeah, I just know through making defenders lists that they are. Um... So a royal, you guard, to... a royal guard on foot is 10 points. Horse, horse is five is and a throwing spear is two. So it's 17 points, horse and throwing spear. And there's where... four of them. Yeah. So a, a warrior of Rohan on foot with throwing spear shield is nine points. So you've got 17 times four. So you're paying an extra eight points per one. Yeah, you can so, totally. So you get off. basically an extra War of Rohan on foot for each one that you swap out. Yeah. Yeah. So it's nine points. So you can get like another seven. So if you can get like another three to four models just with rock, swapping the Royal Garden horse and then swapping the riders with Throne Spear and the rider with banner. And the Royal Guard of Throne Spear on foot. You could you could probably get to like your your twenty eight, yeah, twenty nine model count. Yeah, I guess he's gone like five four and you know, yeah, pay off. But um, you know, lots of cab as well. So you need, you need enough time for Helm to do his thing. Yeah, and yeah, they're d six, but dice you're going to get out diced at some points. So yeah, especially with like at just low points there's going to be a lot of high model counters yeah. all it takes really... is one, all it takes is one bad turn and you lose a few and now suddenly you're like yeah half as many models you have no 
you have no mitigation like terror or anything like people are charging you wherever they want regardless so i think yeah it'd be interesting to see how it does i mean there is quite a bit of terror at this event so the royal guard is pretty good for that to be fair um, Elm could go silly and he just absolutely tanks it yeah but we'll see so uh that was daniel's list no that was uh nemo 85 now we have tom parish coming in with a mordor list led by gothmog wild <laughs> Three wild riders throwing spear shield. Then we have Goroth with some black numbs, some Moranans. One of them has a banner, and then Musga with again Moranans and black numbs. So yeah, I saw, I remember seeing this and actually quite liking it. Wither's really good when you got loads of Moranans. Yeah. So I think it's twenty-two models. So he's gone three heroes who aren't exactly that cheap. I mean, he has got nine might with Master of Battle, which is nothing to be sniffed at. Uh, but I mean, 22 models for Mordor isn't great. I'd uh, definitely be swapping Goroth for Gore Bag. The Gore Bags, so that's 20 points yeah. right there. Um, yeah, because what, yeah, swap Goroth for Gore Bag. Do you even swap Goth Mog for like Shagra? Go yeah. I, I would, do. but I think he's going Orc Spam to get the bonuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would probably. I would actually probably drop. You could drop Black Numbs, or I guess you could take a few, like four Things still. Like fine. they're his only fight four, but they're at the front. They just yeah. you only have four of them, so they're going to die. So, like, you're not really leaning into fight four. So, and you don't have like a Wraith for Harbinger. So, maybe you just get rid of them. Yeah, I don't mind Gothmog just because it's he's got he's got March and he's still a Master Battle. Um, yeah. March is really it's good. like I just guess there's not really too much between this and Gothmog's Legion. Yes, he's got Musga, but like you could take a shaman if you really want to transfix. I mean, there's just not that much difference in it, really. Musga is so much better. Yeah, Musga is like an orc captain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just like there's not that much, which is really that different. I think I'd just. I'd probably just chop Goroth for Gore Bag, try and I'd maybe take one War Rider, get rid of the other two, maybe add, try get more models, more Moranans, um, and just, yeah, try to fill out the War Bands a little bit more. Uh, yeah, 22 is not great, but. But it's still three heroes. It's three. It's oh, sorry, three. I said nine yeah. might. It's eight, obviously, with Musker. Yeah, it's three fairly good heroes. You got Transfix, you got Wither. With is still a fight for support. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, it's good. I really I really like the Mortal Army bonus, and I don't think this will get it. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, yeah, it's a big one. So uh, but we'll see how it gets on. So that was Tom Parrish. Now we have Stuart Thompson with an Iron Hills list. So he is taking the Iron Hills Ballista. Uh, was... Dane, who is on a pig because it's 140 points. No, it's not. Is it 150? Dane, or... Dane on pigs, no, it's 160. 160. Yeah. 60. yeah, it's a very uh, expensive pork sausage. So he's he's on for uh, with nine Iron Hills Spearmen, uh, one without a spear, a banner, and also a captain on foot as well. So it's on for Iron Hills with a blister. This is pretty. <laughs> 13 like models. This. Oh no, plus the crew for the ballista. I like the I, I like the theme. Uh I mean I, if, if there is a theme, but it's I mean it's it's not a lot of models. You have the ballista for anti-shooting, I guess, and you're only shooting. Um they not on on pig is I mean at least now there's no time for them to shoot. I mean you shoot DA. Yeah. It's just it's got March, I guess, because Dane has March and a captain. Yeah, uh, so I don't, really, I don't really know to be honest. I'm a bit, like he's got a ballista and he wants to use a ballista. Yeah, I'm a bit lost with it when it comes to uh, you know, like a I guess more of a competitive standpoint. But from a from a cool aspect, it's pretty cool. I'd like to like this this seeing this seeing a blister with two Dane and a captain at five hundred points is you never you never see that and the fact Dane's on not on pig 
that's even more nervous. That right there is Chad. Maybe he's had, you know, a bad history of the pig being shy out, so he's just like, fuck it, I'm leaving it at home. Yeah, no way. I, mean, well, I think he's just going to drag people towards him because he's got a ballista. So they're just going to come towards Dane and Dane's going to slap them. It'd be fun to play. It would be fun to play, but in scenarios, probably not the best. Yeah. But, yeah. So yeah. hang on, Tom. Uh, so that's the Iron Hills Ballista list. And now, finally, gosh, I do not want to try and pronounce this gentleman. <laughs> does, does anyone want to have a crack? I'll have a go. Go on. Przemysla Frobel. Mate, that was really that's good. That's a solid effort from Adam. I'll totally apologies, have... apologies if Adam has totally just butchered your name. I, I, yeah. I definitely have butchered that. And I, I yeah, I really apologize. That was a solid effort though. But that... mine, mine would have been much more offensive <laughs> with my pronunciation. That is a that's a class name. Fair play. Yeah, it's solid. And let's see if he has a solid list. He's taking Minas Tirith. King Elisar, love to see it. This is an epic start. Yeah. Uh Warriors of Minas spam uh with Rangers, Knights, and Fountain Court. So it's it's literally eight eight Warriors of Minas Tirith, two knights, Rangers, four Rangers, and four guard. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, with with Huron as well. Yeah. So you know what he's done here. What's he done? God. He's, he's fished out the old um, get the extra banner roll. Oh my god, he totally has. Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, so, oh from Huron. Yeah, so if, if it's three inches of LSR, you get a reroll to Jewel with Huron. That's pretty, I mean, fair play. That's big from Presumption. He's, he's 20 models. So he's yeah. Aragorn. Hey, that's not so big, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you got Aragorn. He's got Aragorn, he's got Huron. I mean, two big hitters. You know, like you know how Huron always gets targeted by magic, right? Yeah. He's not, not he's not in this list. <laughs> or yeah, because Aragorn's probably gonna be free combating and you're free moving. Um and Still got six my Aragorn. He does he have March this version? No, he's got no March. Um, oh no, sorry. I think yeah, sorry. He does. He does. Yeah, yeah. Is, is he? I think he just he's got everything in the game, doesn't he? Except yeah. accuracy. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This again looks like a fun list to play. Just running around with Aragorn and Huron. Getting on everything. Yeah. Making yeah. making use of that Huron rule. I like it. Yeah, it's <laughs> good. Even if you come up against a caster, it's like, oh, it shuts down one of them. Okay, well, now the other one's killing yeah. everything on board. So I think he's got the double banner effect because Aragorn... Is, am I right in thinking Aragorn's rule is every friendly model yes. within six inches treats him as a banner? Oh, I, I don't know if it counts for Aragorn himself. Yeah, he banners... Yeah, yeah so, so you're he saying Huron... It's like, it's, like it's like the Dragon Emperor, but for Huron only. <laughs> yeah, I think he does get double banner. <laughs> I guess, yeah, if you re-roll... This different dice, yeah. I'd assume yeah. so. Uh, it, it depends if it says it stacks, if it's cumulative. One's, one's like Lord of the West and one's an actual banner. Yeah, if it says it's cumulative, cumulative I can't say the word. Cumulative. Cumulative, but it, it this looks like a lot of fun. But again, scenarios, matchups, it'll be, it'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, do we want to quickly give any favourite lists that we had? Any standouts for anyone? You first, mate. Me first. You've put me on, spot on the spot, mate. Putting you guys on the spot. Um, I like my list. I love that. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I totally do like my list of five hundred, which is why I'm wanting to use it for. Um, but other. <laughs> That is savage of you. I like my list. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Um, I like the seven heads one. That's pretty. No, I agree. That's seven pretty. Heads. So is that your one to win the event? That's a silly list. Yeah, totally. Uh, if 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 we're going for one to win the event, I would probably. I think I have to agree with the Thrall one. I think that's really solid. Um, I'm not sure we've seen much that beats it. Okay, Adam, you now can't say the Thrall one. What's your next? Totally was okay. I think I think it's a, a straight shootout between 
Thrall and the Bjornings. I'm going to just lay, name loads of lists now. Um, I think mine's got a chance. I think any three of the AOL lists have a chance. I don't think Elliot has a chance. <laughs> I... <laughs> Ha uh-huh. <laughs> No, sorry, man. I'm joking. That's that's pure. I, I mean, I'm joking, but I'm not joking because I, I just your list is really good. I just don't think it's enough models. <laughs> it's thirty models. It's. Good. I'm joking, but I'm not joking. It's really? as maxed out as it can be. For some reason, that seems like less models than the Grim Hammer list. Yeah, but it's not. It's actually. Yeah. But yeah, like, I totally lose to that list. <laughs> That list, I'm telling you, that list is. I totally lose to that. I, I think that's that's up here. Then you got the Bjornings, and then you got another gap, like a big gap. And then I think that's where um, the AOL list and my list are, and the other Serpent Horde. There's another Serpent Horde list that I thought was really good. Oh, and there's, there's totally Goblin Town with Veto. There's a no. There's actually quite a lot. It could be one of eight lists. There's, there's some good lists. Yeah. But we know mine is not in the mix now. It's confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> might, might as well just forfeit. <laughs> I concede. Elliot, Elliot just drops out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be so <laughs> I'm talking about the list, not the player. Uh, After the pod goes up, yeah. Okay. Uh, Sam, did you give your picks? Um, No. So I'm in, I, I don't really... Obviously, Bjorn's are good. But I'm surprised Adam thinks they're top three to win the event. That's intriguing. Um, I see. I think the th- I think the the thrall is pretty good, very good. In fact, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give it two. Drum roll. Mm. See, I would say Goblin Town, but I just do think that there's a, quite a few lists here that just do have a semi good time against it. Yeah. AOL and Serpent Horde. Like this, yeah, there's instantly six there which are fairly oh, quite good. Your yeah. your one defenders is fairly good. Like I'm sorry. Yeah. So I would love to say that, but looking at the other ones, I'm gonna not say that. Oh uh, yeah. It's I'm gonna say My list now. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with the flex. Nah, I, I I would be surprised if an AOL isn't in the top three. Um, hmm. a Serpent Horde could also be there. I genuinely don't know. It's a good list. Yeah, it's a very good list. I'm gonna say. Oh, oh, see, I want to say pits as well, though, but the pits doesn't have any D6, and that's making me sad. Um, yeah. Scroll down a bit. I don't, I don't remember what the other ones were. Riders of Thaded. Gilgalad. Yeah, I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to say AOL's going to win. <laughs> AOL's going to win the event. With that sounds really backing himself right there. You know, yeah. you know what destroys AOL? Defenders. What? That no, well, yeah, but that Mordor list with the severed heads and all black Numenorians or <laughs> doesn't it? Doesn't it can't shoot though? Oh no, it's totally true. It can't shoot, and you have fury. It was such a fantastic plan. <laughs> yeah. oh, you have so di- you I have am so fury. <laughs> so disappointed for that guy. Yeah, that would suck. He could totally just play AOL like two or three times. It it can't shoot, and you have Druzag Fury and Shaman Fury, so everything's staying. Well, yeah, two Furies, oh yeah, yeah, two Furies. Uh, so yeah, that's everyone's picks for who we think is going to win the event. I've uh, gone through our lists and every list going to the event. So we'll see. Could, how we get. Could this be? Yeah, go on. Could this be just scroll up again? Could this be the time that the Golems Gamers get multiple podiums? Mm, maybe so. This could Definitely. be the final rankings. Well, I'm hoping it's not because I'll take that. Not on the podium. I, I, I don't. I won't take that as final rankings. Oh come on! 
Come on, Sam. It's uh, for the team. I would. I would totally take that. I would. I would for the team. Fifth. Coming second. I would take a fifth if Mate, if he's, you he's two gone come first. Tom Patterson style fishing there. Yeah, it's awful. Oh. I'm I'm going in for first, mate. I got I got you got to back yourself, ain't you? Indeed. No, it's back yourself, and then there's you taking your taking point. second behind a colleague, the teammate. <laughs> yeah, but I need. <laughs> that is not typical behaviour from you, Sam. <laughs> no, Adam could go second. <laughs> Classic Pompey boys, just you hate to see it. To, to be fair, I'd take third in this event, but um... yeah, that is a good teammate right there. No, well, yeah, I'd take second. Well, there we go. So we can leave it as it is. Done. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, we may, depending on how we get on, uh, there may be a review episode coming for this event. Uh, but yeah, um, thank you very much, everyone, for watching episode 11 of the Golems Games podcast.